Today, I'm exposing the real truth behind Coachella and why I think that you guys might be getting lied to and thinking it's a different experience than it actually is. Okay, we're gonna do my hair and we're gonna talk about it. So it was my first time going to Coachella and all I had seen of it so far is those really crazy Instagram photos where everyone looks perfect and beautiful, the outfits, the hair, the makeup, and I had no idea what to expect really. I know it was like in the desert in California, but I didn't really understand what that meant. And I also heard about the disgusting porta potties and the $700 Ubers, but I was like, there is no way people are exaggerating. They're not. <laughs> Coachella on Instagram looks a lot different than Coachella in real life. I mean, <laughs> but it is a really fun experience that I'm really happy I went to. Um, I may or may not go again. I would recommend that you go at least once in your life. It's a really cool to experience. By the way, YouTube is giving away two free tickets. Um, they didn't tell me to say this in this video or anything, but I just know that it's really expensive. So if you can't get the two free tickets, all you have to do is make a YouTube shorts um, and say who your dream plus one would be. So you can get free tickets for like the rest of your life, I'm pretty sure. So, um, uh, I'll link the other videos where I explained it in a longer format if you do want to try to get tickets. So I'm going to start off um, with how expensive it is. I'm talking you need a sugar daddy, a splendid daddy, and a side hustle to be able to afford this. I know festivals are expensive in general, but I was honestly shocked at how expensive it is to the point where you could probably take a full week's trip to the Maldives, the Maldives, or the Seychelles, or like some exotic destination instead. So think about it when you're spending your money because every time I like vacation or travel, I think, okay, with this money, I could book a trip here or do this thing and would it be worth it in comparison, right? Speaking of how expensive it is, I'm going to pause for an ad break right now because uh, I need this ad. It's a really good company though. It's really cute. Hello. I know you don't know where I am, but it's a nice place. If you followed me on Instagram, you would know that I'm at Kira's. She has rats here. Oh wait, that's me. This is her real rat. But I really miss my dog, so you know what I did? I got a gigantic portrait of him to decorate the room. This is my dog, Mochi, and I got it from a company called Pet Canva that's actually really cool. They're the industry leader in printing your pet on pretty much anything you want. Also, Mother's Day is coming up, so I think this is a great gift for your mommy. It's super easy. You just upload a photo and receive artwork for approval within 48 hours. You can use a personal portal to approve the artwork and follow the progress of your order. You can choose from a variety of things anybody will love. Blankets, towels, clothing, canvases, posters, phone cases, pillows, tote bags, mugs, puzzles, and so much this more. This blanket to keep me warm at night. We love that. I also am insane. And I got this phone case and also a t-shirt. So people can know what kind of dog I have. If you guys do want to check out Pet Canva, you can click the link down in the description box and use the code Blair for 25% off. Bye! So... Coachella tickets have like three main categories. They have like general, they have VIP. Um, I think the general is a couple hundred dollars. The VIP is like a thousand to a thousand five hundred, like the last day if you're like stressed. Um, and there's like none left. And then there's artist passes and there's artist guest list passes. Now these aren't available to purchase on the website. You have to like know someone to get you in. But I'm sure if you just text all your friends and every single person you've ever met in your whole life, like someone will have them for sale for you. I heard artist passes going, artist guest passes going from like 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, all the way to like nine or 10,000 for artist passes. And those are the ones that the celebrities have. I saw a couple celebrities walking around in VIP and I also saw them at the after parties but I'm thinking most of them were in the artist pass section. So okay let's start off with tickets that are like literally a thousand dollars. Cool. Um, <laughs> now that you're in the festival every single thing costs money like food, water and the drinks are like insanely expensive like twenty dollars a drink or something crazy. The only thing I did appreciate though is that water was two dollars which I found really reasonable and good on their part really responsible because like you don't want people to not be drinking water and get so dehydrated in the heat because they're trying to save like a lot of money. Um, because I know some places like Disneyland, I feel like isn't water like five or six dollars. In the airport, one time they charged me eight dollars for water. I was like, I just want to be hydrated, okay? I was also surprised at how many people didn't have tickets to Coachella and that were just there for like the influencer events and the after parties. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, by the way, people sell their wristbands for these artists only or guest list only parties. I literally, the neon carnival one of the days, people were selling their wristbands for $500 a piece. I was like, okay. <laughs> um, the other really expensive thing is the Ubers. I shared a screenshot for like a 20 minute Uber from our house to the Coachella thing. $500. $500. Excuse me, what? 
I think it's better to bring your own car um, because that's insane. But also parking costs money, so I don't know. And have you seen the grass prices in LA recently? So that's one thing that I found really shocking. The other thing I found shocking was the porta potties. I don't know why I haven't like really used the porta potty that much in my life before, but I did not understand that you could not flush them. I think the bleach has seeped into my head. Also, they were all pooped and peed on at all times. And I, <laughs> after my first porta potty experience, I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna drink anything ever again. I'd rather be dehydrated than have to go pee over someone's poop. That was just like, that was, that was the last straw for me. Do not go to Coachella during the day if you know you also wanna go out at night. It is not feasibly possible to go to the like festival all day and then also go out at night because, not because you don't have the stamina, not because they don't believe in you, but because it's literally 100 degrees outside, the heat, like the sun is like beating on you, like, oh God. And then on top of that, it's so sweaty. There's nowhere to sit except the grass. So if you're allergic to grass, I would say be careful. Um, because where are you gonna sit if you're allergic to grass? Like bring a blanket. Maybe I should make like a things you should bring to Coachella because blanket and water is essential. I was also surprised at how much walking there is. I mean, okay, so I heard like, oh, it takes a long time to walk into Coachella. I was like, okay, everyone's just being a baby. Babe, the first day when we walked in and out of Coachella and like didn't really do much, I walked five miles, five miles, to, just to go to the stage and then go back, five miles. So be prepared for that. Also, they have these like little golf cart things you can take where, or I guess like bike carts, where the guys will drive you a portion of the way. They're $15 per person for the bike thing. I personally think it's so worth it. It literally saved me. When I say do not wear heels to Coachella, I mean don't wear heels to Coachella. I have worn heels everywhere in the whole planet. My friends can attest to this. You guys can attest to this. You've seen me in Tulum walking, wearing heels and like stones, gravel, dirt, and potholes, and I had no issue with that. I had issue with wearing heels to Coachella. I know some girls post really pretty outfits with heels, um, but they're taking the photos at their house and then going to Coachella in sneakers. Mm, scam artists, yes. Also, speaking of like taking photos at Coachella, it's so hot during the day. If you have the stamina to take photos, I'm so proud of you because I was just having little meltdowns. Like I was having little meltdowns. Kira was on the phone asking Dane to come pick us up because we were hot. Like it, it was just like, oh God. And all these people that get all these nice photos with nobody in the background, I think they stand there for like an hour, wait till everyone walks by or they Photoshop the people out of the background of the photo because I don't understand how else you can take that photo. Also, my phone kept overheating. I don't know if my phone is just like not cut out for this life, but my phone kept overheating to the point where I couldn't even take photos. Like the screen would just go black and I was like. A really cool thing about Coachella is the food. Okay, I am a girly girl who likes to eat. As we know on this channel, I've tried a bunch of different foods from all over the world. Food is one of my favorite things in the world. They had really good lobster rolls, okay. I think $12 or $22 or something like that. They were really good. Um, and then the funnel cakes, absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. Um, what else did I eat? Oh yeah, the, the pizza in the VIP section, amazing. Um, my friends got pineapple on pizza though, so we're not friends anymore. So I left them and flew to Thailand because I'm not gonna be friends with people that get pineapple on pizza. I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the food's really good, so don't worry about like eating or anything like that. What my tip would be, if you wanna go to Coachella during the day, just know you'll be too tired during the night to go to anything. But the nighttime is really fun because you go to these parties and there's literally celebrities everywhere, like, um, and then they're just like sitting there and chilling. They all have security, by the way, I didn't know. Um, and the parties have food. They also have drinks. They also have Diplo. I don't know why Diplo is literally everywhere I go. I think he's trying to say something to me like, hey, I'm here. Like, he's trying to make an appearance. I'm kidding. But basically, it's insanely expensive. There's a lot of walking, and it's so dusty. Um, but someone was like, oh, you need to bring a handkerchief for the dust. I didn't really need a handkerchief for the dust. I'm going to be honest. Don't panic about that unless you have asthma or something. In that case, I would probably bring a handkerchief um, or a mask or something. But I thought it was not so bad. It does get extremely freezing at night. I was wearing this one of the days. It's like a bikini for from I Am... Emirata, like Emily Radzikowski's brand. And I was wearing that during the day and then afterwards, obviously 
we're not gonna take a $500 Uber back home just so I can change, like that's just ridiculous. Um, so I went to the after party, the Neon Carnival wearing this, was freezing. Was freezing to the point where I was thinking of strategies to stay warm, okay? I was like, we have to go in the middle of the dance floor. I have to be surrounded by people. I would like keep dancing no matter what I was doing just because I was trying to keep my body temperature up. I made sure my friends, I was hugging literally anybody. If you came up to me, I was like, hi, let's have a hug. Just because I wanted the warmth from the body heat, okay? I was trying to think of strategies to stay warm. Isn't that insane? Like, it was freezing and super windy that day. Like, oh my God, it was windy. Um, so bring a jacket. But carrying around a jacket sucks during the day. So you know what my plan is? Bring a hoodie you can sit on in the grass in and then wear as a jacket later. I saw a lot of people that changed their outfits. I'm not paying for $500 Uber to go home and change. I'm just, I'm not gonna do it. Um, also, you know what I noticed? After you left the festival, there was always people like outside of the festival offering to pay like 50, 100, 200 dollars to buy your tickets um, for the next days because you definitely, they have to be registered to your name, but they never actually check. So if you only want to go to Coachella for like Saturday and Sunday or just Sunday, just stand out there. I don't know if this is legal. I am not trying to recommend committing crimes, but this is just what I saw and a way for my girlies to go in there if they don't have a lot of money. After people leave Coachella on Saturday, and if you want to go Sunday, just stand outside of the, the where people leave and offer to buy their tickets for 50 or 100 bucks. You'll find someone. You'll find someone that'll get you tickets. You'll be able to get in for 50 or 100 bucks. You'll have a great time on Sunday because that's where like the acts are. The, I think the weekend was there on Sunday and like, what is it called? Swedish House Mafia or something. So if you do want to go just for one of the days and you want to save a lot of money, buy the tickets from people. Sorry, that's just my tip. I don't know if that's committing a crime, I will live, laugh, love. <laughs> um, the other thing that shocked me, don't think you're missing out by not getting VIP tickets. I don't want anyone to feel like that because the VIP section is really far from the stage anyway. Um, so you're not gonna be able to see much anyway. There's no free drinks or alcohol in the VIP section. So don't think that you're getting, I don't know, you like feel left out because to go watch the shows, like Billie Eilish I went to go see, I absolutely love her. I think she's the coolest person on earth. Um, you have to go into GA and not only that, I want to be in the front of the crowd. Obviously, I didn't push my way up there. I just waited before she went on. I got kind of to the middle. Uh, people who get to the front, I don't know how long they've been camping out there for them, but I respect that because I really wanted to see her up close. Seeing them up close and like in person is a totally different experience from seeing them on the internet. So if you go to Coachella, just go one time in your life. But the truth is, is that it's really expensive. It's really dusty. It's freezing cold. I don't know why I didn't know all this stuff. Um, if you guys have any more questions about Coachella, um, if I can help in any way, let me know. I'll start responding in the comments. So just make sure you leave your comment there. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account or my Finsta, Walnut Spam Ham, where I leak a lot of sensitive information. I don't know. I'm like a spy on there, okay? <laughs> I love you guys a lot. I'll see you later. Live, laugh, love. Walnut out. Bye.